This is um, Stephen's Day. This is um, this is Sunday, Stephen's Day, St. Stephen's Day. And this is my second video of my Irish National Stud blog. Um, this has nothing to do, with, this is not um, part of the Christmas. This is my separate um, thing to do with my Irish National Stud um, highlights and errors and stuff like that. Um, um, my um, my Irish National going over my over the season of the Irish National Stud 2021 season. Um, I as I said on the Christmas Day, uh, the video uh, that I that I the last video that I made, the film got cut off, the battery ran out. Um, I continue on that conversation where um, I can't remember where it left off. I can't remember what the last thing I said, but. I was talking about the things that um, I did to pass the time while we were away for the five weeks and five days we were away for. We took, um, as I, I said that I thought I took too long off, I took too, too much time off the stud, which I felt I did. I took way too much time off the stud um, when we took that break. Um, we, we took a break from the 24th of June of uh, this year. I felt I took too much time off away from the stud. I missed out too much of the stud. I missed out all the, missed out too much of the goings on. And by the time we came back, a lot of the mares had gone to the farms, and so there was only a few more. There's only a few mares left. And um, I, the reason I'm doing this blog is so much to do highlights of the year. This is probably the first time that this is the first time I've ever done this. It's highlight the season of the Irish National Stud. I go over the year of the stud. You know my favorite moments, my highlights, and what I thought of the year of the stud. You know, go over, but giving a rundown of all the path, all the all the months of the season, of what I thought of it, and my my favorite memories and stuff like that. And you know, um, so getting I, this was actually a very good year. Actually, this was probably one of my favorite years. We're getting reunited with um, a lot of our old friends and getting and making new friends. As I said, Labadia, I said um, she was a, I said that she was a mare that I knew last year, which was a whole pile of rubbish. She, she only this, she only came this year, and uh, I had three meetings with her. I had two back in June, it was the thirteenth and the fifteenth of June of this year, and then back in late August when we came back after our break, and um, so. And um, and I said we were down in the Black Cherry Yard. We were looking at foals, and I saw a foal by Baldara. And I might have mentioned I hadn't seen Baldara. But the fact was I had seen Baldara. I saw her on the fifth of June, and on the sixth of June. But the sixth of June, she was in the distance. She was in the same. Uh, she was in the same field I saw the previous day in nursery two, as with sibling on her. And um, I, I might have forgotten that I got reunited with sibling on her, on the. 4th of August when we came back after our break in the backfield by the, the um, Blanford Yard area. I got to mention that I got reunited with her and um, as well. And I had one meeting with Dark Ray. You might have got to mention that I got reunited with Dark Ray. I had one meeting with her as well um, when we came back in August. And um, I hadn't seen her since <clears throat> like what well, it was two years I think she wasn't in the stud I don't think I don't think she was in the stud last year. Um I can't remember what was in the stud last year but um she might have been in the stud the first half of the year before the before the lockdown. She might have been or if she wasn't in the stud she was that she was there two years ago. I can't remember and I kind of losing track. And um I might have mentioned earlier in the I might have mentioned a part of the year that Fahim was there since June, have you met him? You're already, he's already there when we came back in May. I might have mentioned all this already in the previous video. I might have mentioned all of this already in the previous video that I made, but I'm just trying to go, go over the mistakes and see can I remember any more that I might have that I might have forgotten that I'd mentioned. Um, a lot of the mares, um, that are, there's a lot of mares I hadn't met. Let's see, we're down in the uh, backfield again at, at a later date. And we met up with some foals, and um, a lot of the foals had um, all mares' names on their tags, and a lot of the dams. 
um, a lot of the mayors and um, the, the, the mother's names on the tags, a lot of those mother's names, so there would be mayors that would have been in the stud um, at some stage or other. So a lot of mayors names, a lot of the dams on the phones, all those names of, of those dams, those mayors would have been in the stud at some stage or other. So I missed out on a lot of the mayors of those foals, a lot of the mothers of those foals. So I missed out on Katara, she was one of the mothers, and I missed out on Runaway Giant, I missed out on Summer Spice, I missed out on um, uh, Gilt Edge Girl, and, Summer, and I missed out on Ophaniloquence, she was another male that I missed out on this year, and um, who else did I miss out on? Um, I missed out on, I think Liam, I think Liam said he might have, I think he, um, I think I overheard Liam say Veronica Falls at one stage and I missed out on um, Angelica Ball, she's the daughter of Invincible, I met up with her, her foal, she's the granddaughter of Invincible Spirit and I got very, 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 very um, close to her as I might have mentioned before, I missed out on her and um Nick Quinn. Miss Alton Nick Quinn, she was back at the stud. I saw her fall in the Black Cherry Yard. But I didn't see it up close though, I saw her on the field. Liam zoomed into I saw her chestnut fall. I got Liam to zoom in to the tag. He couldn't see it when he was there, he couldn't see it on the camera. But I looked at it um at the video and I paused the video and I had to look at the see if I could read the tag. And it said Nick Quinn. So Nick Quinn was back at the stud this year and I missed out on her. He was a bit gutted about that. And um I might mention I forgot to mention that I saw her, um, my friend the crease, she's back at the stud this year and I hadn't seen her for two years. And she had a she had and one of her offspring had a grade one win too. So she's back. She's had her back after two years. I hadn't seen her for two years. So it was nice to see her back again. And um so, uh, who else did I miss out on? Um, loads of mares that I didn't get, that I didn't get to meet this year. Um, so a, lot of the, so a lot of the mother's names on the foals to see. A lot of those mares would have been in the stud at some stage or other. Oh yeah, Lethal Promise, Lethal Quality. They were other mares that I had missed out on this year. Lethal Quality is the daughter of uh, elusive quality which would mean that she would be the she would be the She's the same. She's the same um, Czar as elusive as elusive Pimpinel, but um, they're not related. But they have the same Czar, so uh, they have both have the same dad. But um, um, I think um Little Promise I think I read the Little Promise is um the daughter of Invincible. I think I got I think I got that right. No wait, I'm sorry. No. I think it's hot streak, something like that. I have to look at, um, I have to look up her details. Just, oh, it's confusing. One of them is related to Invincible. If Invincible is in their family, I can't remember now. The reading up there, they had their posters up in the, they had their poster up by the Stalin's paddocks once, one stage or other. 
they had the Eagle Promises poster up at the standing paddock some of the days the poster or, or details was up on the on the up in the fence by the standing paddock some of the days or other. Or information, I can't remember who it was, I think it was Hot Street. I think it was Hot Street. <sighs> I can't remember, but it was one of them is related to Invincible. It's either Lethal Quality or uh, Lethal Quality. Or, Lethal promise. So lethal quality is lethal promise. It's lethal quality and lethal promise. It's it's really confusing. This is both of them's got lethal in the name. <laughs> it's confusing. All these names. You see, they sound so similar. Both of them are in the stud anyway. And I'm gushing that I miss out on summer spice. Summer spice go and I go back a long way. We go back like since like forever since like 2017. And um. And I, I love eat the year this year. I'm going to make my nose with my old friends. And this, the start, this season started lovely, by the way. I think a great start to the season. It started off the 26th of May. It was actually a great start to the season. My first, the first mayor, I might have said, um, the start to uh, my first meet, my first, the very first mayor I met was Harry Tubman. Well, I got that wrong. That's another mistake I made. The very first mayor that I met of the season was McFlurry. She was the first mare that came over to me. It was McFlurry. She's the very first mare I met. It was McFlurry. And then Harry Tubman came over. Harry Tubman came over and I uh, had a lovely time with Harry Tubman and I hadn't seen her for like, I think it was 2018. I don't think, it was, don't think she was there 2019. I think it was 2018 that last I saw her. I'm not just sure that she was there last year. I'll have to look back at the season last year to see if she was there or not. I can't remember. I, don't, I, doubt, I don't think she was there last year. I'm not just sure that she was there 2019. I don't think so. I would have remembered if she was. No. I think it's 2018 was the last year I saw her in the stud. I think, I think it was around that anyway. But it's great to see her back again anyway. And she folds with... Um, she folds with uh, uh, Decoration Night. I think who she folds. Decoration Night is who she folds with. So it was lovely to see her back again. Uh, Harry Tubman. She looks magnificent, by the way. She looks amazing, Harry Tubman. So that was a great start of the year. So we were down, we are feeding them by the path there, the side path behind the Living Legends paddock where the Living Legends are. The Living Legends were behind the, 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 the packet behind where I was at. There's a new path there at the Rares and Folds and the, it was the path there behind where the Living Legends are. It was a new path there. I was feeding them there. And um, so it was nice to be able to feed the mares for a change other than the Living Legends because I usually start with the Living Legends to see in my day. And um, I used to start the very first horses I usually would feed would be the Living Legends. But for a change, I was feeding them, um, I was feeding the mares. It was nice to feed them, um, McFlurry and Hyde Tubman for a change, so it was nice. So um, so I was feeding the, so I had Hyde Tubman and Mc, I started, started Hyde Tubman. Oh, sorry, I started with McFlurry first, and then McFlurry went off, and then Hyde Tubman came over, and said a few hello to a few people, and has shown them how to feed them. Um, had to show them, show them how to feed the cards, but I had that flash and then we met up with a few people. It was lovely meeting up with a few people. And then down to the very end, so the far, very far end, I met up with a, a mare. Liam's tried to read up her tag. We couldn't read her name properly. We were kind of um, reading her name wrong. So he got the first part. Well, it took a while to get her first part of her name. Uh, he thought it said um, Nora something and um, um, Nora, uh, I can't remember what the second part he said. He said something different name. He said Nora, um, something. I can't remember what the second part he said. He said Nora something. And then he, then he eventually got the first part of it right. He got the first part of it right. He got Nina, but he couldn't never, he couldn't get the second part. He said, I think it's Gertrude, uh, Gert, uh, so not, Gert, not Gertrude, something like that. I can't remember. 
but you didn't get the second part but you got the first part of it right but it was actually the mayor that i'm trying to that i was trying to explain to you but the, the actual mayor herself was nina celebra but we didn't get her name at that first meeting we didn't get her actual full name at the first meeting on that actual day which was the 26th of may we got her name at the second meeting which when i met her up in the nurseries um a while i think it was the I can't remember many days later, it was, it was, it was a wherever the meeting it was, the second time I met her in the nurseries, I got her name then, Nina Celebre. But she's a lovely mare, but she's a bit shy. She she takes a while to put her head up. It took a while for her to get her head up to, to feel when, she's, when I feed her. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. What? What? Are you on the... Yeah. 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 It took me a while to actually get her to put her head up to feed her the carps. <laughs> It took her forever to go to put her head up either cars. I think she's slightly nervous or one of, the, or one of those shy mares. I'm talking about Nina's 11. Uh-huh. She's one of those shy mares. <coughs> yeah. I was telling about my first meeting with her. When we were down at the path by the park where they live in Legends, you know, and um, our first meeting with her. I was I'm going down my run down at the season and my first day we met up with Nina's 11 for the first time. Mm-hmm. We didn't see her name, her full name. We only got the first part of her name. Yeah. And we got Nina. Nina, yeah. Right, you couldn't see the second part of her name. It's only when we met her the second time that we got her name. I mean, we met her up in the nursery, Nina Celebre. Mm-hmm. And she's a bit shy. She takes a while for her head up. And she, she had her head through the fence. She had her head through the fence. Trying to put a carrot. <laughs> trying to put the carrot into the oven. She has her head through the fence. It's very awkward. It's very hard to feed somebody feed a horse when they had her head through the fence, through the bars. <laughs> She's one of those shy mares. She took a while to get her, then she eventually. Oh, oh. Mom, come, you put your head up. Put your head up. Come on, girl. Put your head up. Put your head up, girl. Come on. Put your head the, up. To the angle of this. Is it on? Yeah. Is it on? Yeah. Wave there. Wave. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, no problem. It's on, yeah. It's on, yeah. I'll just improve it a little bit. This is straight. Yeah, it's straight. Yeah, there you go. Um, I kept saying, put your head up. Put your head up, girl. Come on, put your head up. Come on, girl. Put your head up. You know. Can I put the head on? Um. I just said, put your, put your head up, girl. Come on. You know, she's, she's just one of those shy mares. She just took her out of her head to get her put up. And then she fell, she put her head up. At long last, she put her head up. So I had both of them. Leaves interrupted me. Plot by blog. <laughs> <laughs> I made my run down at the Irish National Stud and my fiance walked in the room. But then, yeah, she took a watch to put her head up. And, um, sorry, but I shout. The cat is on. Ah! But, uh, yeah, she's one of those shy mares. And but she actually put her head up, and she's a lovely mare. She's quite she's very friendly, but I think she's a bit shy. I think that's why she took a time for her head up. But she's very nice. So um, so she's very nice. So I feel my run down. And then after that, and um, then um, the, I had another. I think I had another. Um, then I was going to go down to the mares again, and um, then I think McFlurry came back over again. I had a, another few minutes with McFlurry. And then I went down then to the nursery paddocks at the, the far end. And who walks over but my friend Sylvie Nonner. So uh, it was a lovely reunion with Sylvie Nonner. It was very nice and I got very emotional with Sylvie Nonner. Very emotional. It was a lovely moment to see her back again. But fortunately, Liam didn't get to walk over to the fence. He didn't get it on camera. <laughs> she walked over to the fence. He didn't get her, he didn't film her, he didn't get the camera on in time for her walking over to the fence, you know, walk, her walking over to me. And he just, he put the camera on a little bit too late. <laughs> because by the time he put the camera on, Sibby was already over at the fence. <laughs> she talked over the fence, you know, but he didn't get that on camera on. He only got, he only put the camera on just as she was at the fence, you know, waiting for me. What's the issue tonight? What's that? Go ahead, talk about But um, she's at the fence, and uh, so it was very nice, a very emotional reunion. So I love you chat with her. I got very, very emotional. It was a lovely moment, gave me a nice with my friend Sibby. I love you chat with her, and it's been her cards. I met up with a lady. She came over to me, a lovely lady came over. She was from um, Poland. And, and I was asking her what, what, was her, what was her um, profession, and her, what her property. And she said, um, um, I thought she said um, uh, psychology or something. security. So I could not say where she said because of her accent. Her accent is strong, or a real strong accent. She's from Poland. 
because I thought she said um, psychology or something like that. But the way she, she said it, it sounded like psychology, but it was cured. And she worked from 7 to 7, 7 in the morning to 7 in the evening. <sighs> so, um, do you remember her? Yeah, yeah, I remember her. Nice lady. Nice, nice, yeah, chat, yeah. nice chat with her for a while. And, uh, I showed her how to feed them. I asked her if she wanted to feed Sibby, so she fed some cars to Sibby. And a lovely chat with her, and Sibby stayed with me for a while. And then she goes, what? What does she do? Gallops away. <laughs> she goes and gallops away, so she runs off. Yeah, and, um, and then I think I'm after Sibby, I think. Um, Oh yeah, I think somebody else came over. I think it was um, it was the Anna Nota. It was Anna Nota came over, wasn't it? Yeah. I think Anna Nota yeah, came over. Yeah. I think I saw Anna Nota. She came over and she had a bit of dirt on her nose or something. She had a bit of dirt on her nose. I can't say it on camera what it was, but I can think you can imagine what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think you can imagine what I'm talking about. Um, but um, I can't say it's too, it's too um. Sorry, word I like to repeat on camera, but um, if you think you know, think you know what I'm talking about, but um, she had it on her nose anyway, and um, so she came over to say hello to me, and it was very nice getting nice with her. I met a lot of um, my old friends, I got really nice with my old friends, and um, and Melody Nelson, I had lovely um, got really nice with Melody Nelson as well, and a lot of my old friends, I got really nice with a lot of my friends, Melody Nelson, and let's get really nice with my old friends. And um, we we'll still be getting nice with my old friends, you know. And I made new friends as well. So it's nice getting nice with uh, my old friends. I'm making new friends. And I got really, I got really, um, I made a new friend in a mare called uh, a rogue seamstress. Now, I didn't meet her until, I didn't meet her until, until the, the three book, right? I didn't meet her until the third day of the season. I didn't meet her until the third day of the season, which was the 30th of May. 30th of May. Um, the corner there by the back path, one of the back paths there by the, the one of the back paths there of the, the side paths, um, was feeding the legends, um, she was at the corner, and she's at the, she's at the far that same that that same path that I met up with um, McFlurry on the first day. She's at the corner of that path that I met McFlurry. And um, Harry Tuckman on the first day, she's at the corner of that path there, at the very top, at the very end of that path there, at the very end of the path at the corner. And she's a little bit of a biter, 